All right, guys, got five minutes here. Going to go over the market today. Hopefully, you all made some money like I did. Woke up. Money, 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 money. Anyways, guys, so looking at the market today, we're going to look at these, uh, obviously, these areas of resistance here. You see our my trend lines here uh, from up here. We're kind of hitting it again. We hit it here, hit it here, hit it here, um, hit it in this area here. It's just one that carried some weight over the last few weeks, well, months. And now we have this daily uptrend um, that we're going to be testing here, hopefully tomorrow from down there, uh, December 24th. Um, as you see here, we're coming upon it. We got denied here a few times. And uh, I think that's where we're headed, the 2947 area. I think that's where I'm going to short the market um, just for a scalp um, and then uh, trail my profits, see where we go. I think we are strong right now. Um, looks like on the 15 minute, we're pulling back. I actually have a buy order at 29.15. It's just an area of support and resistance on the daily. Uh, it's gonna be right here. And as you see here, we probably should buy on in this area here. If not, I'm gonna stop out right below the 29.04. Uh, we, as long as we stay above the 2900, I am bullish on the market. All right, so that's my analysis on the SPY. Gold, we are sinking down, sinking down, range bound on the four hour. Got to figure out what we're doing here. I am in gold long right now, very small position. Um, see how we carry this and how the U.S. dollar has been railing the past few days. I think we're going to see this kind of just trailing sideways. Um, if, it, if it goes down to this area here, I'll definitely be buying. Once we break down to this area here, um, I will be shorting gold. So that is my opinion in gold. Uh, oil, bullish, um, but we are still following this downtrend here on the four hour. Got you almost hit it there today. If you drew the trend line a little different, I'm sure it got hit. I see uh, the oil coming down for a pullback. It wasn't gush today. I'm not in drip, but I am in DWT. Natural gas, four hour. Uh, we are still on a downtrend, big picture. And this trend line I confirmed. Touched it once. We might touch it again. Uh, we are on the hourly, definitely turning up. As you see here, higher lows. This one was a little weird. Gap down here, and then we tanked, and then we rallied up. This could be a change in direction. It's a tough one. So if you don't know, I would just wait on natural gas. Personally, I am short on natural gas. Very small position because I am not sure because I cannot predict the future. All right, guys. So then let's look at uh, next. Um, let me close this. All right. And then one more minute here. How much we got? We got a few minutes. BYND. So let's take a look at this today. Just kind of consolidating. Slow day today. Nothing really happened. I am still short on the stock. We are kind of trailing up. It looks like we possibly could get a breakout to the upside, though, if we break above this 148 area. I'm shorting until then. I think this is a piece of junk. Once we break down the 136 area, this thing's going to tank forever. Tesla on the hourly, looking like another higher low here. As you see, if I drew a trend line right here, we'd be getting rejected again here. Um, it's got to be a break above the 236 for me to be bullish on Tesla at this moment. This is a little nice pullback here. This would be a great opportunity to short. That's why I'm short on Tesla right now. Um, it's just another base. I think that's a resistance. And we're going to see a pullback. Nice area for another high would be if we bounce at the 224 area, 225. So that is that. That's my prediction in regards to Tesla. Anything else is Baidu would be my only other play because uh, I am in that long. And that was for earnings. So that one just spiked up. We will see where that one heads next. Um, kind of just rallied up there. This thing's been dying, and it's been a big, pretty big Chinese company. So, I mean, this thing could really catch some momentum to the upside. We are in a zone right now as I head back here, an old zone. That's funny. So as long as we hold above this 112 area, I think I'm long by due. I am in shares and not options. So that is for that. Um, other than that, NVIDIA going up. Broke my zone, coming up strong. I think we're going to see a rejection up here, definitely at the 173 area. I have alert, and I'll trail it tight there. Um, other than that, guys, that's really about it. Um, Netflix looking solid here. As you see, still on this downtrend on the hourly, guys. We got to break above this. We really didn't. I did not like how this finished off today at all. But as long as we stay above the 308 area, I am staying in it. Um, man, I do not like that, though. Don't like that look at all. If we bounce here, we need to bounce here. We need to bounce right now. And uh, if not, I'm cutting it. And then I'll just short this son of a nut cracker down. But that's really about it, guys. Five minutes really quick. I hope you all have a good day. If you have questions, let me know. Anyways, lift big and train hard. Peace out, guys.